All right, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us. And some good news this morning for anyone waiting for their Tesla to arrive. Yeah, you know what, Tesla, they're known for having ambitious goals and maybe not always hitting their targets, but that's not the case to start off 2017. Uh, Tesla reports for the first quarter, they've hit a record 25,000 vehicle deliveries to kick off the year. Not a bad way. Of course, Tesla was stymied a little bit at the very end of 2016. In that final quarter, deliveries were actually down 9% due to production issues. And Tesla says it now expects in the first half of 2017 to deliver 47,000 to 50,000 vehicles altogether. And keep in mind that that Model 3, that's the mid-tier, better price model, it's expected to go on sale later on this year. So ramping up production is going to be one of the big priorities for Tesla. They're showing signs that they're going to be able to do it. So I think a lot of people might be excited that those vehicles will actually perhaps uh, arrive at their driveways just on time as uh, they were expecting them to. That would be quite an accomplishment for Tesla indeed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, switching gears to Bombardier, the CEO there facing uh, a lot of criticism this morning. Why is that? Well, it was a bit of a whirlwind weekend for Bombardier. Of course, uh, executive compensation was just discovered that it was going to rise uh, from uh, $22 million in 2015 to $33 million in 2016. And recall Bombardier just announced two rounds of layoffs last year, totaling nearly 15,000 jobs. It also accepted a billion dollar bailout from the Quebec government and a $370 million special loan from Ottawa. And then all of a sudden, its compensation for executives is going up. Well, CEO uh, Elaine Belmar, he's going ahead and saying, like, maybe we should defer this compensation, about half of this compensation, until 2020. This is all contingent now on Bombardier hitting its uh, performance goals. So I, I have to say this, there were actually protests going on yesterday in Quebec. I don't know if this is going to be enough to stave off further protests because mm -hmm. it seems like uh, maybe uh, two four steps forward, one step back when it comes to this whole compensation issue going on at Bombardier right now. Possibly. All right, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you, Sonia.